There are two points that Shahzad Punawala makes which can, in a sense, put the Congress in the dock. There are states where the Congress is in power, where again we see petrol prices much higher than BJP ruled states because you have put your higher state taxes A. B, when you talk of jobs, which Rahul Gandhi has raised time and again, the fact is unemployment rates in some of the Congress ruled states, Rajasthan is a good example, are higher than some BJP ruled states. So let's be honest. The job crisis, the inflation crisis cuts across all states. You can't single out the BJP at the center and hold them solely responsible. See, Rajdeep, once the GST came into play, the states hardly got their share. You have to understand what is the problem. They, they had to, in fact, they were first giving them loans, the center. They were begging for their share. So there's a different thing altogether. Now, he said a lot of things. Now, give me my time also. One of the things he said was there was inflation during... Uh, our time, yes, but where, even if there was inflation during our time, the real wages were very high. And anybody will tell you that, ask any economist. Now, let me tell you what the Sarkar is about. He gave a lot of numbers. No, 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 that, like, that's no answer. The, that no, no, madam, no that's sense. no answer. Inflation was high much. No, no. Why not accept it? Except particularly no, no. UPA 2009 to 14, inflation was well higher, well, well above I, normal. And this was not when I, necessarily I, I global it? inflation was as high as it is today. There no, are 100 countries as we speak asking, today which have higher inflation than India. Can I, can I please give me some time, just as you've given me Yeah, you've got to be specific with facts, man. I want to give you facts. I'm going to give please you facts. Please give the facts, then. So, when they, that, that's what I'm going to give you. So, whatever happened in our time, people did not feel this because things were subsidized. He told about the gas. Gas was subsidized for everybody. Now, nobody has it. Everything from 420, it's gone to 1053. It is cutting across to people. Now, this Sarkar, what is the problem, basically? I was listening to the... RBI governor, he said jobs. That is the biggest problem. Now, let me give you some facts. Look at this Sarkar. This is called a revenue Sarkar, I would call you. Vasuli Sarkar. Look at the GST collection of this Sarkar. In January this year, it was 1,38,000 crore, which was 15% higher than last year and 25% higher than pre-COVID times. Now, in June this year, the, the GST collection is 1,44,000 crore, which is 56% higher than last year. And, and look at the tax they collected through the uh, excise duty in petrol, 26 lakh crores. Now, when people are having such hard times, why can't they use that revenue and do a direct cash transfer? That is one. Number two, this is a, this is a sarkar for corporates because let's understand in 2019, they gave a bonanza of 1,40,000 crore to the corporates. That is there every year. Why not cut that down and again give it to the poor? The poor right now, Rajdi, the problem is the consumption has gone down, the demand has gone down because the, the spending of every house has gone up by 59% from last year. There, are, there is no money in a house. And on top of that, suppose if there are five people in a house, if one person earns, how can they spend? They have no money. So basically, the unemployed, if you had three people earning, then of course there's more money in the house to spend. So that, that has gone down. The other thing which is very important is the falling rupee. Now when the rupee, remember, uh, the Prime Minister used to say, rupee ICU may have, when it was 70. Now it is almost touch 80. So what happens? Most of our things are imported. When imports gone up, suppose if I'm making a car over here and want to even export, the steel which is imported is at a very high price. So even your exports go up. So when you're, when you're importing a lot of stuff like this, import also affects. So the price rise again. When you import prices go up, the price, because the rupee has fallen right now. Okay. The okay, other important thing, let me finish. Good. Let me finish, Rajdi. Please give me some time. I want to finish this. Very important is foreign private investment. Now, he, the RBI governor talked about jobs. 2.1 lakh crore has been removed by private investors from this country. That's a huge amount. And why have they removed it? Of course, the interest RBI had to increase the interest rates. When they removed it, the rupee fell. But there are other reasons for it, like uh, Arvind Subramanian said, the social unrest in this country. He was advising, remember, he was the former chief economic advisor to Prime Minister Modi. There is social unrest. Also, the regulatory policies here, they keep changing. That is another thing. So that has also affected jobs. And many Ma'am, ma you've made your points now. I've given you equal time. Your time is up. 